edition of Piper Steve's Workbench here on YouTube. Today we've got for you an interesting phone. It's another wall phone in the wall phone series. It is a monophone model 60 telephone made by Automatic Electric. This phone was sold to the railroads and there were many of them at the time. And this particular phone has a tag on it that says PAX New York Central Lines Station 534. PAX is a private automatic exchange. And Automatic Electric sold their phones to the railroads because they had their own telephone lines that they used. This particular phone, you could get it in three flavors. An L658B2 with Hyden Payton Ringer an L658B3 without ringer with a way station filter or an L658B4 without ringer filter or generator. What you see here is an L658B3 without the ringer with way station filter. That's how they came and the cost of them at that time was $134.60. So you could get it in any flavor you wanted for the way station uh, that happened to be on the railroad. Let's talk about way station. That simply was a stopping point for the trains to either, you know, get water for the steam locomotive, a water tower, uh, pick up mail from a mail depot, stop and have a rest point for their uh, particular railroad personnel, etc., etc., etc. There were lots of different types of stations that were made and the term way station simply means a stopping point along a route somewhere. So this particular phone has all of the original parts in it and as you can see it has the original schematic. It is a phone that when it showed up it had some all of the original parts in it. Here are the crusty old Columbia gray label batteries that were in the phone that were severely corroded and what I mean by severely corroded I mean it was severely corroded and it was a mess so what we did is we cleaned it up and we used the bell box because this particular phone had those batteries provided local battery power for your talk path in the bell box it now has a ringer. It also has a relay in it and we'll talk about that in a minute. This particular phone like I said was usually installed at a way station point and at the way station point the telephone personnel would pick up the phone to call the PAX that's what they call it, P-A-X operator somewhere in operator land for the railroad Okay, we have to put the magneto crank back on. You well, when they did, they would lift the handset. They would ring the line. But what makes these phones really super unique is that, let's close this up. There we go. What makes this phone really unique is that since it was on local battery power, it couldn't be used on a telephone line. Now, I know there are different modes of thought on this one. Yes, it's a great example of this type of phone. And it is. By the pictures you can see, it's really good shape. Well, I put a newer network in it down below. And I put a relay electronic unit in it that I developed that you could use the magneto to ring the bells and if a call came in it would also ring the bell. Oh, so as you can see we have a call right now on the telephone. And the phone works really great. The bells are really nice and loud in it. Are you there? Yes. You can still hear me? Right now, yes. Okay, so if I say something this will push to talk telephone handset. 
So I'm going to say something right now. Stop telling me to come home. Stop telling me to go to bed. And stop telling me it's not. you don't want me to play poker anymore. So what did I say? I didn't hear you then. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. So the engines would come and they'd be, you know, they wouldn't turn the engine off. It would still be running, so to speak, in some cases. And it's a noisy environment. So what they would do is when the operator would talk, they would lift the button so that they could hear in the earpiece what the operator was saying. So anyway, so uh, thank you very much for calling. Okay. Bye. Bye. That was kind of an unrehearsed thing right there. But yeah, was, there we go. The bells ring in this guy. The network has been applied to him because it didn't have the proper network in it. Let's say you don't like it that the network's in it. You don't like it that the bells are in it. You want it to be original. I completely agree. Look, I've collected telephones in the past. I completely understand if you want the phone to be original. If you do, I will send you a detailed document indicating the lines that I removed, where I removed them from, the wires, you can put it all back, but I want you to remember it will be a phone that will not be functional for you to use in your house. Now, if you have a railroad table, like HO or Lionel, you lucky boy you, in your basement, and you're a toy train kook, nut, collector, good guy, genius, whatever the case may be, won't this phone be fantastic to have hanging on the wall? I mean, I love model trains, personally. I think I'm a model train kook, really. I do like model trains. I always have really enjoyed them as a kid, older. Uh, I had a friend that was really into it at one time. This would make a really great addition. Or, it would make a great addition if you just happen to have a thing about New York Central that has got this tag on him. Um, and if you want to just hang it in your man cave, it's perfect. It's been completely refurbished with a relay method on it so that you can use the magneto, maze your friends. You can also have the bells ring when a line co call comes in and you can actually talk on the doggone thing. Let's face it. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, you got to admit. Yeah, I mean, I'm serious. Now, you can find these phones on eBay and they're going to be in a certain price range. I'm going to tell you this. A lot of hours of work went into this guy. Not just developing the relay and adding the bells in the network, but cleaning it. I contemplated repainting the, what I call cans, and I didn't do it. The top can has a little bit of minute scratches on it. Not real noticeable, but they are there just slightly. All the rest of it's original, but you, when you consider developing it to ring, developing it to work on your telephone line, testing it, putting it back together after cleaning every piece of it, the batteries corroded the bottom battery box, there are hours into this phone. The price I'm going to sell it for is way worth it. It's it's a bargain at that point. Plus, it's a one of a kind. You don't find a lot of them. And uh, I certainly hope you'll consider it. I also truly hope that you will take those that you love. Hold them, tell them that you love them because it matters. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching another episode of Telco Steve's Workbench.